In-situ BTX instrument is a combined X-ray diffractometer, X-ray fluorescence instrument. It's self-contained and ready to go out of its case. Here we see unpacking the BTX instrument from the supplied flight case. The instrument weighs about uh, 12 pounds and comes complete with a sample preparation kit and everything you need to start your first analysis. To begin with, take the power cord and plug it into the instrument. The instrument runs off of AC voltage, either 110 or 220 volt AC. Plug the instrument in. The instrument is supplied with a key to ensure that only authorized personnel use the instrument. This is a requirement of several countries' radiation protection control. Put the key in the instrument, turn it to the on position. At this point, the instrument will turn on, and you will see a screen that says, Welcome to BTX. The instrument is booting up. The instrument cools the camera down until it's operational, and you'll see this screen uh, indicating it's ready to go. To load a sample, the first thing we need to do is to plug in the external sample shaker assembly. This is a mechanism which helps to load and unload samples. You can see it plugs into the back of the instrument. Take the sample carrier out by lifting the locking mechanism. Place the carrier inside the external sample shaker. Select from the main menu screen the shake option. And in this case we're unloading a sample so we turn the carrier upside down and the sample falls out. If there's any residual a small blast of compressed air will clean out the sample cell. In this case, we'll show how we load a sample. Again, the sample preparation kit comes complete with the spatula. Here, we're taking a sample of quartz and corundum. Uh, we're going to pass it through a 150 micron sample sieve, again supplied with the instrument, to ensure that we are only putting particles in the instrument that are less than 150 microns. We really only need about 20 milligrams of sample. So you can see we've sieved through more than we'll need here. Take the sample out of the instrument by releasing the locking mechanism. Pull the carrier out of the instrument. Put it in the external sample shaker as we see here. Hold it horizontally. Again, choose the shake option from the multifunction menu to activate um, the sample vibration chamber. Uh, take a couple of scoops of this and place it in the sample funnel at the top of the sample cell. We need enough sample to fill the sample cell again about 20 milligrams. Turn it vertically and we can see that the sample falls between the two sample windows and here we see the convection occurring. The tuning fork is vibrating at 1 to 3,000 cycles per second. Place it in the instrument, press the locking mechanism back in place, start the acquisition with the start acquisition button, choose the default and the analysis begins. Once the analysis is complete, we have the opportunity to load the diffraction pattern into the in situ software. Here we see starting Internet Explorer. We're going to point the URL to the instrument, its IP address 192.168.0.222. When we do that, we connect to the instrument as we see here. Clicking on the data pad shows us the X-ray diffraction pattern. Clicking on the files pad will show us the files we can download choose the .txt extension, choose download. Uh, it will automatically open into the search match software which is called XPowder. Here we see choosing the expanded menus and the advanced search option. Choose the correct database, AMCSD. Click on search and the software will search the peaks for the present minerals. We see the first phase is corundum. Click on that choose automatic to find the next phase in the list, quartz, click on that. Click on quantitative analysis and it will perform a relative intensity ratio quantitative analysis.